let me show you the easiest chord ever. Are you ready? That's an E minor chord, but just a second. You're not even fretting anything. Exactly. These three strings open, give you an E minor chord. You can also play it here. But there's more to this. So if you can play it here, you can play any minor chord just with one finger. So your next logical question is going to be, if that is true, why didn't they teach me that the first day? To which I have no answer, but I am going to teach it to you today. And this is actually the first page in the Beginner Guitarist Playbook that you can download for free if you want. So where does this come from and why this is? A basic chord, a basic major or minor chord is made up of three notes, tritone, triad, that's what a triad really is. So if you look at your E minor traditional chord, okay, your open chord, you're gonna play it like this. And we're playing through six strings, but there's only really three notes. I'm gonna be coloring them so you can see them clearly instead of telling you what note it is. I think it's easier with colors. So we've got the first one is the sixth string open, that's a red note. Then we've got a green note, another red note, same note, both are E notes. Then we've got a blue note on the third string, another green note, the same as this one. And we've got a final red note. So we've got three red notes, two green notes, and just one blue note. So any combination of those three notes is going to give us an E minor chord. The way guitar is tuned, lucky for us, we've got those three notes on the th three thinnest strings. All right, so why could I do this? And play all the minor chords. Yes, you can play a B minor right here. Why can I do that? So if you realize this is, that we just said that's a red note, that's gonna be an E note. What happens to that E note if I start moving it across the fretboard? It's going to become other notes, correct? Okay, so if we move one note and a chord is three notes, what happens if we move all three notes? If one note becomes another note, three notes become another chord. But there's more to this. Okay, so now you know that with one finger, just gliding up, up the fretboard, you can play all the minor chords. But what about the major chords? Let's come back to that E minor chord, E minor open traditional chord they showed you, right? So how would you play that chord as a major chord? Well, we just bring our index down like that, and we change that blue note one fret higher. So we add a fret, we make it a major, we plus it, right? That's how I like to think about it. So instead of minor, one fret down in pitch, we play it up in pitch, one fret up in pitch, making that a major. The rest of the notes are gonna stay the same. All right, so if that is true, we have a blue note, which is now major, We've got a green note and we've got a red note, right? A blue note, a green note, and a red note. So if we move that again, one fret higher, if this is an E, we move all those notes one fret higher, that's gonna be an F, E, F, G, just the same as the alphabet. So now we knew we could play all the minor chords with one finger. If we add one fret to the blue note, we're gonna create all the major chords. Let's start over here. So it's E minor, E major, minor, major. Okay, so now we can play all the majors. And just like that, with two fingers, you can play all the chords. 
it's, isn't that crazy? I think this should be taught the first day. If you do too, if you don't know it and you do want to know it, go and check out that little book. It's free to download and it'll show you how the fretboard works the easy way. I'll see you inside.